The flash bomb was recently buffed where now it throws a bomb every 3 attacks instead of 4 attacks, but the stun length was slightly reduced. Additionally, Ocean Open was buffed where at level 11 it gives Magic Monkeys plus 2 pierce instead of plus 1 pierce. Because of these two changes, I wanted to try the strategy of Ninja Alchemist Farm because this strategy overall was heavily buffed and see how good it is in Hall Master, so let's hop right into it. Alright guys, our first match of today's video is on the map off tide with strategy Ninja Alchemist and Farm. I really want to try that flash bomb buff, so I feel like this is one of the strategies that could really benefit from it. And um, yeah, we're gonna start with our Alchemist right about here, will be the plan. And then we're gonna get our Ocean Open on round one as well. It looks like the opponent's going Quincy here off the rip, so I'm curious as to see what loaded all of night 4496 is bringing here. But um, let's put let's target this on first, Boomerang Quincy. Okay, it's Boomerang. You've been seeing, I've been seeing Boomerang a lot on these harder maps recently, so no surprise there. I think I'm gonna place my Ocean Open right here. Kind of more centered towards the back of the map is not a bad spot for it. Because I can throw the I can throw the living core really far back is kind of the idea there. And then um yeah, we're just gonna keep on max echoing off the rip here. Should work out pretty well. Should work out pretty well for me. Let's actually get my ninja. Where do I want to place my ninja here? I want to place my ninja like right ish right around here is gonna be the, the ninja spot, I think. I'm gonna go for ninja discipline. Maybe I wanna keep this on close, probably. Maybe even last targeting will work. Yeah, that should work out pretty well. Okay, good start so far. They're actually sending me blues, so they might have some sort of eco loadout, to be honest, if they're sending blues. It might be some sort of economy loadout, which would be interesting. Um, Maybe Boomer Mortar Spike Factory, Boomer Mortar Engineer. Maybe one of those two. Let's get my farm down. Against eco, though, I sh this should be a pretty good matchup for me, because we should out late game most boomerang eco strategies with a farm strategy here, and um, they won't have very much money to pressure me because they have an eco loadout, but... Pressure can still be pretty scary just because this is a hard map here. So we're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to be careful with how this plays out. We got our first farm down, though. We're going to upgrade it a little bit. Would be the plan. They got their double boomerang set up, so they're chilling on their end. They're chilling over there. Okay, they got their ricochet up. Nicely done. They don't really need the second boomerang then if they have their ricochet up. They'll just get upgrade the ricochet to red hot rings, right? And no green balloons for my opponent. If they don't send me any like, greens or white balloons, I actually don't need any more defense here. So... I might as well go for a second farm, right? At least get a little more greed action coming in. Okay, they are sending me greens now. Let's go for a second farm first, though. Get sharp shurikens up. And we're going to need seeking shuriken. And we're going to need to upgrade this top alchemist as well. Now the balloons are starting to push a little bit. We'll actually get double shot up on this. Double shot should do decently for me. Yeah, this is defending pretty well. Okay. We're good, we're good. Let's keep throwing on those brambles in the back. They're sending me yellow balloons. Okay. Uh, that wasn't very many yells to begin with. Do I need to boost this? First. Last. A little bit of targeting first. Last. First. Last. Don't think I need to boost it, to be honest. He's sending. He's not sending a big chunk, you know? If it was a big chunk of yellows, then boost was probably necessary, but... Thing is, these have been like little chunks. I should I'll probably upgrade a stronger asset though, just to help out. Yeah, we're good. A little bit of a little bit of um, alchemist targeting, and we're chilling here. Okay, zebra balloons on the other hand, zebra balloons are gonna be a problem. So, do I need to boost these, or can I afford my alk buff in time? Okay, let's boost. Let's boost. They're sending me regions. We're good. We're good. We're good. No complaints. Microphone is being annoying. It's not standing still. Okay. We're fine. They got their mortar up, so it is boomer mortar, as expected. If they send me a rerush, I get a bajitsu. Nothing so far. We're just going to keep farming. We're going to an alchemist in the front here as well, on close. This will be a rubber to gold pretty soon, will be the plan on this alchemist. We'll keep this one on strong, I think. Strong targeting should be pretty good for me here. But yeah, if they send me a rush, I'll go for the balloon jitsu. Actually, I could try the, I could try the flash bomb as well. Hmm. Flash bombs a similar price to the this flash bombs a little bit more expensive than upgrading to jitsu, I think. Okay, they got the more glaives on their end. Nicely done. Let's upgrade larger potions on that. We're gonna make a lot of money from their eco, which is gonna be fantastic for me. We'll be making yeah, the plan defensively is if they send me a big rush, I'll boost against it and I'll defend. I might get jitsu up with boost. And then a re-rush I can get flash bomb. And I think that'll work out pretty well overall for us here. Boost against the rush and then re-rushes is when we bring out the flash bomb tech. But so far, 
Nothing coming out from my opponent. I've got minimal defense on my end, too. It's Spike Factor is their third. So it is Boomer Spike Factor. Kind of cold that off the start. Not going to lie. They go for long life in the back, okay? I'm sure they keep Econ. We've definitely got a huge late game advantage on them. A humongous late game advantage. I'll probably go to like 2k Eco will be the plan, I think. 2k should be a respectable amount. Keep throwing on those brambles in the back. We're going to upgrade this to a marketplace pretty soon as well. I think. I might go for a... Okay, they're sending me that. Honestly, am I good against this? No, I think I need Jitsu. I think I need Jitsu here. Yeah, we need Jitsu. That's fine. Yeah, we're almost at 2k. I'm gonna go for a monkey uh, monkey nomics this game, I think. I feel like monkey nomics is a good farm upgrade to go for with this loadout. Maybe round 24. If I can get if I can get round 24, I'll be happy with that. I'll be I'll be pleased with that around 24 monkey nomics. Okay, we're making some money from our lead to gold here. We'll go for the monkey bank pretty soon. Nice. Bank is up. The bank is open, ladies and gentlemen. We'll keep spamming marketplaces here too. They stopped ecoing, which is why are they spamming 20 boomerangs? What the heck? They went for a turbo charge. I don't understand. I don't understand what all of Knight's cooking here, guys. Who let him in the kitchen? Who let this guy in the kitchen? Okay, pretty soon here, I'm gonna get this up to a central market. And then I'll be selling it on round 24 for the nomics. To use trees in the back. Okay. Perfect. Everything's going good so far. And then we'll get this to an IMF loan. How much does he sell for? 8k. 23k of selling. So I need 22k on hand. Technically for the... For the nomics. So we should be able to forward that pretty easily. They're sending me a BFB. Okay. Fortified. Let's go for a flash bomb here. We'll go for perishing potions. Faster throwing. How well does this do? I probably should have gone sticky bomb, huh? I really want to test the flash bomb in itself, though. Let's boost. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. Definitely not the smartest decision. A sticky bomb probably would have soloed without boost if I just bought sticky bomb off the start. But, you know, it worked. It worked. We got the we got the nomics up as well. We're chilling here. Everything's good. Let's rethrow the trees down. Let's use the nomics ability. Let's upgrade that to a, a banana research facility here. How much I got cooked up in here? 10k? It's not bad. Not bad at all. If they send me like a DT rush, I get up sticky bomb with um balloon sabotage. It should be pretty solid. Defensively. I can get another I can do multiple sticky bombs as well. Alright, we're good against all that. We'll get another monkey nomics ability here pretty soon. Okay, this perishing potions does not. Well, actually, no, perishing potions does do damage against it because this ninja decamos. What am I saying? Yeah, we're good against that DT though. Okay, pretty soon here, I can get this banana central up, which will be really nice. How much does this cash out for? 16.8k? Okay, that's cooked up quite a bit as well for us. Okay, we got the farm up. Nice. Okay. I didn't want to choke. I didn't want to choke, to be honest. I should have sold. I should have. I could have just cashed this out. I'm, I'll be honest. I could have just cashed this out. I completely forgot that I had money cooked up in it. But. Not choking above all. And we didn't choke against it. We almost died though. I thought I had my Sabo ability available. It was the thing. And then I checked and my Sabo ability was still on cooldown. So I like kind of panicked for a second there. And then it got kind of kind of close. But we're good. We'll get the perma brew up now. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. A little close for comfort. I'll be honest. A Zeom G. Okay. Interesting. Muy interesante. You can actually fit a lot of ninjas in the permabrew range on this map. Alright, they just they are just all out in me. That's a GG, ladies and gentlemen. That's a G freaking G. I will catch you guys in the next game. Well, actually, does that that spike pile tanks crazy? That's a that's a third tier spike pile, guys. Alright, they're dead.
Let's get it. All right, our next match of the video, guys, is against Upwind. We're on the map of Oasis. This is a great Ninja Elk Farm map, so I'm actually happy I got this map. And we're gonna start with our Ninja, right? Up, not our Ninja, our Alchemist, right about here. They're going on Boomerang Sub Ice. This person pretty much always uses Boomer Sub Ice, Starcraft, and Jericho on every single map. And they're really aggressive with the load as well. So we're gonna have to defend a lot of rushes today. So that's gonna be the plan. But um, yeah, start with the Alchemist and we'll get our uh, Ocean Open on round one will be the plan. And it should work out pretty well for us overall. Pretty well. I almost choked the last game in CTs. That would have been um, that would have been a bad one if I lost it. But we ended up with the W, thankfully. All right, got our ocean open down. They got their star captain down. Sending me some spaced greens. Fair enough. I'll get up a ninja, I think, against these. Actually, do I even need a ninja? Probably not. This is defending quite well. This is defending quite well, quite swingly. We'll just keep max eco in here, and we'll get a farm down pretty soon and one eco boost. Perfect. Farm is down. Yeah, they're sending me some yellows to get larger potions here. Uh, that might not have been the right play. I'm leaking a lot. The good thing is they don't want to send too much space to eco because they have an eco loadout. So I probably could have leaked a million lives there, but I didn't since sending in yellow balloons is kind of bad for them there. Good seeking shirking up. Let's throw in these brambles in the back as well pretty soon. Living corals thrown down. We're good. All right, good start so far for us, I think. Good start, I didn't leak too much. I'm still at 76 lives, which is fine for me. Especially when you have Living Coral with this loadout too. That kind of stops you from leaking a lot of the time. Increase production. Nice. They're sending me White Balloons. Get Stronger Acid on this. That should do pretty well against the White Balloons. Yeah, this map, the Alchemist is unbelievably strong. I look at like the just the way the Alchemist hits all the balloons when they come back around too. Alchemist is so good in this map. Greater production. Yellow balloons are going to be a problem for me, 100%. Um, this will get overrun by yellows pretty hard, what I currently have. So, what's the plan, you might ask? Probably go for a second Alchemist. That does not really do much, does it? I have to boost. Yeah. We're fine on boost though. I thought the second alchemist would do a little bit more than it does here, but it's fine. Boosting, that's not a problem, to be honest. And now we'll get we'll get sharp shurikens in the double shot now. Okay, they're probably gonna send me zebras in round nine as well, which will be a little bit of a difficult defend, but we'll see what we can do against them. Let's go for stronger acid on this one. This will be my rubber to gold later. This will be the plan on this one. The faster throwing on it as well. And then we'll go double shot here. Alright, this should, should do pretty well against me, for it. For me. Defensively. Yeah, this, is, this is working out. This is working out. Alright. We'll send them some deeper balloon eco too. Get our eco up. Force tower boost on their end. I'll take it. They're balloon boosting at me. Shouldn't really do anything, to be honest. Yeah, balloon boost doesn't do anything there. We're chilling. They send me a rush. I get a berserker brew. Still no rush though. I'm actually in a good position here. I've used one boost, but that's totally fine. Boosting against yellow balloons is pretty typical with this loadout, to be honest. That's not necessarily something that's bad to do most of the time. This should be on strong, probably. I think is going to be the ideal targeting for me there. Strong targeting should work out pretty well. Keep throwing those living coral. Plan now is just save up for that rubber to gold. Cidic like mixture dip, right? Okay, so mixture dip does defend. All right, I was gonna say that should give me the lead pop in there. All right, got the rubber to gold up. Rubber to gold should give me a lot of value through this game because he's gonna be sending me constant eco, right? So rubber to gold should be very valuable. Don't know if I'll go for two K eco this game or not. I'm not sure because he's gonna send me more rushes than my previous opponent sent me for sure. So going for a super high eco and then getting that monkey nom mix up like I did last game is gonna be kind of difficult to accomplish. We'll see though. We'll see. See how this game plays out. I still don't have an elk buff on my side, which is surprising that they haven't forced that. It's a little surprising. We'll just keep ecoing. My eco's pretty solid here. All things considered. Okay, I'm gonna need to get the elk buff this round because AI balloons start to ramp up this round. Let's get elk buff up. Yeah, there's some ceramic AI that comes out this round and whatnot. 
Now, something I'm going to want to do is go for actually a second rubber to gold. Because that, since I'm facing Jericho here, I'm going to make a lot more money from the AI balloons. So I think a second rubber to gold is a smart decision, a smart investment. And I should go for a ninja to decamo um, AI balloons at the start on camel priority targeting. This is, this is how I should play it. I might go like 2.5k eco, by the way. That's going to be my amount I go for. 2.5k. We'll boost this. I made a lot of money from that rush. I'm not even going to lie. I made a lot of money from that rush. If they re-rush me, I'm going to go for a flash bomb with this. Yeah, the flash bomb, the Dunjutsu on the Alk buff is really good. We're good. I have my boost back for... This should defend. Yeah, we're good. That was, that was honestly an over defend 100%, but I had to play it safe. Those Star Captain 10 rushes are scary. I had to play it a little, little bit safe there. We defended though pretty well. Almost 2500 eco. There we go. 2500. We're in a really good spot here, I think. Okay, sending me that. Let's get this up to a sticky bomb. Perfect. We're just gonna stack a bunch of, uh, put, put a bunch of stacks on this. I really don't want to boost against this as well as a thing. If I can not boost against this, it's going to be good for me. So, I think we'll go for a um, transforming tonic in the back. We're going to trees against their Star Captain 10. Should be good against all this. Um, This thing still hasn't popped down. This is a bit of a problem. I'm going to boost. Okay, we had to boost that, unfortunately. I don't like that I had to boost that, but it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. We'll get this Nomics up pretty soon here. Down to zero boosts, but I still think I'm in a fine position. Even at zero boost. I still am not unhappy with how I'm sitting here. Because my money is good. My money is good. Especially for the amount of rushes they've sent me. If they send me a round 28 rush, all I'm going to do is probably Master Bomber it. Master Bomber it. That'll defend round 28 rushes. Like DATs or region ceramics or something. Okay, they're sending me a fortified Zeom G. Hmm. Do I master bomber this or do I go for Grandmaster Ninja? Grandmaster Ninja might work as well. Actually, not sure at this point now. Nice Star Captain something. I probably just I should probably just master bomber. Should be good against this. Please defend. That defends. That defends. Thank the Lord. Yeah, I don't think I. I don't think I don't see a way I lose this game now. After I defended that, because now all I do is I get this perma brew up in a second. Perma brew has been bought. He's still spamming ceramics at me. It's not working. They're desperate. Wait, why can I not, why can I not collect this? Oh, I'm in debt from their sins. That's actually kind of crazy. Please collect that. I'm in debt from their um steel. All right, they're about to die to AI. They're dead to AI. Yep. All right, I'll catch you guys in third and final match. That actually just shows the strength of Ninja and Flash Bomb did help me out a lot throughout that game. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, dude, they sent so many rushes there. All right, our last match of today's video is with the same loader. We're on the map quarter this time. Um, go on the strategy of wait. Why am I saying go on the strategy? I, I'm literally going the same loader. Okay, we're gonna start with our Alchemist right here though. 
Um, no idea as to how strong a slowdown actually is on on core. I've never used it before, but my opponent brought Ocean Open as well, which is really interesting. So I'm curious as to what my opponent's actually bringing with Ocean Open. Because we both brought Ocean Open here. It might actually be like Tack Ninja Farm. I have actually seen that loadout on this map, I think, before. So Tack Ninja Farm is what I'm expecting from my opponent. We're going to go with my Ocean Open right there. Perfect. And then we're going to be getting my Ninja down here as well. But it's on close. Okay, that should be good placements. Because my Alchemist will buff my Ninja with these placements, yeah. These placements should work out for me. Gonna leak quite a bit early game. Never have really used Ninja Elk Farm on this map before, obviously, so it's, it's gonna be a difficult one, guys. But I think if I play it well, I might be able to just cook something up. Because my opponent's not going a great load either. Because they're going tack with Ocean Open, so I think I've got a chance due to that fact. Seeking Shuriken here. Okay, are we good against these yellows, or do I need to get more defense? Maybe keep us on last. No, last does not work well. We'll get, we'll get sharp shurikens here. We need sharp shurikens against the Elblins. I should have placed my alchemist a little bit lower, I think, is the main thing. My alchemist is not getting a great spread. I put it a little bit too high. I think is the biggest issue here. A little bit too high on the placement. All right, let's get my farmer down. Let's get my balloon bot down. And we'll get our first farm down right here in a second. Let's throw it on my brambles as well. My living coral. Perfect. All right. Good start so far. Good start so far. Even though we're down to 42 lives, I'll take it. You know, for not really ever using this load on this map, being alive here with three boosts is, is something I'll take. Let's get double shot on this. All right. How well does this defender? Do I need to upgrade my alchemist? I probably will need to upgrade my alchemist, but I might be able to squeeze out a farm upgrade or two before I upgrade the alchemist would be pretty nice. We can just squeeze out a couple upgrades of the farm. Let's also throw another living coral. Nice. Let's upgrade that Stronger Acid. Stronger Acid should make a big difference here. Defensively. Yeah, it seems like it's doing decent. They went for their second farm here. They're going to out-farm me a little bit. Dude, they have Tack Shooter. I mean, what, what do you expect? They've got Tack. They're going to have a little out-farm on me. But that doesn't necessarily mean they win. That's It's not two and two together. Out-farm does not mean you win. Because some Lotus just farm better than other Lotus, you know? Especially on maps like this. Yeah, they're sending me some of those. Let's upgrade the Alchemist a little bit. I really wouldn't want to boost. Don't want to boost this, to be honest. Okay, we don't seem to have to. We're good. All right, good defense, good defense. Ninja and Alk. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys for holding off those yellow balloons of death. Okay, we need to save up for an Alk buff for zebras in round nine. They sent me a lot of yellows there. They have a really high eco then. My opponent's definitely got pretty solid economy going for them. Send them some zebras. They sent me zebras. They're going for a hot shot. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely tack ninja farm on from them. I have seen that loadout a couple times on this map. It's, I wouldn't say it's a great loadout, but it's definitely one of the loadouts of all time. We got our elk buff up. They send me round eleven. I'm gonna have to sell a farm for a jitsu. Yeah, they're going to build up their Ring of Fire here soon, I think. Got my Elk, got my Jitsu up. They waited to rush, which was really good for me. They actually went for a Flash Bomb decamo. Interesting. Okay, well, that does that seems like, I feel like that won't rush, defend much. But the thing is, they can probably kind of be skimpy on their defense since I'm going to... No, they actually get the Ring of Fire up still. Okay. Yeah, they're, I'm not going to rush them at all. That is that is a strong defensive setup. The Ninja should decamo everything. The blade shooter will pop all the purple balloons. The ring of fire will pop everything. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna rush. I'm gonna even test that defense. There's no shot. You think I'm rushing that? You're crazy. I kind of would like to get a rubber to gold on my side, to be honest. Keep this one strong. Only problem is that my ninja like pops the balloons instantly, so the rubber to gold won't hit that much. But it's still better than nothing, you know. It's still better than nothing. How much eco do I go for this game, though? Is a really interesting question. I have no clue. I'm actually ha really happy with my position, though. I've got almost 1k eco, which is fantastic. And I still have three boosts left, too. I just realized that. That's really good. Sitting on three boosts is fantastic. Okay. We're going to save up for a marketplace just so I have some cell power. Because I am scared of all that rushes. So, we have marketplace up. They send me a bunch of rushes. I should be able to afford some decent defense off that. And then I'll, then I'll go for some, a little bit more eco. After we get the marketplace up. Should be solid. I think I'm gonna go to 1250 eco. 1250 and then I'll full stop my eco. The plan. 
We're almost there. It looks like they're, they definitely have a low eco. They've gone for three tier three farms, but their eco is certainly much lower than mine is currently. Keep throwing down the living core on the back. No fortified mobs in from them. I feel like they might just spam like fortified ZMGs at me, which honestly would be a really difficult defend. Defending a fortified ZMG with Ninja Elk Farm on this map is going to be hard. It's just such a short track length, right? My sticky bomb's not going to have very much time to deal damage to the top layer and hmm. How would I go about that? I could honestly try like BMAing it. That's not, that's an option. But BMA is also 40k. So I'd have to afford the BMA by the time the ZMG gets to the end of the track. Which obviously I don't have to get the BMA immediately, which is the nice part about BMAing it. The BMA is not, you don't have to buy it right away. But I feel like that's definitely what they're gonna do. I feel like they're gonna send me a fortified ZMG. I feel like that's pretty much an inevitable rush. Are they gonna send me a fortified BFB? Or no? Use trees. I'll be able to afford a BMA though. I'll be able to afford a BMA. I can almost afford it right now with selling everything. Because these three farms sell for like 20k. More than 20k. And that that puts me at almost 30k. And then I have an engine that... Yeah. Yep, there it is. Okay. The plan is BMA. I don't know if that's a good plan. It probably isn't. But on the bright side, they lose 200 eco doing this. You know? Uh... I don't know. I could have. I maybe should have just boot. I should maybe should have just sticky bombed and tried doing a, doing a boost defend against this too. It's there's definitely. I have no. I have no idea if this is the right play here. He says really. <laughs> I can sell this. I can get a monkey Wall Street in this round, right? Let's see. Thirty k. 35k? No, I can't. I can't. Unless I, like, do some sort of crazy greed play, I might be able to. I actually might be able to do some sort of greedy play. There we go. Okay, they're spamming rainbows at me. Boost. I don't need to sell my farm, or won't I? I don't need to sell my farm. Wait, send me another one. That gives me value. That gives me value. That gives me value to sell my farm. I'm chilling. Sell it. Send that fortified ZMG was a big throw by them. That was a big throw. Oh, dude, I'm actually in a really good spot now. Because they, they spent so much money on those rushes and lost a bunch of eco. So even though they're up on farms, I'm actually really happy with my positioning now. I, that ZMG was bad from them. I might win with Ninjalk farm on this map. I think I've, I think I might just win here, guys. They can afford a they can afford a master bomber, so there's no point for me to rush them here. They can definitely afford a master bomber. So what's the plan? Hmm. I go for a IMF loan on my side. How many balloon boosts have they used? Is the question that actually needs to be answered. Can I? Is my BD faster than theirs? Because it's going to be a fortified BD race, I think. I shouldn't have sold my farm. Selling my farm was dumb. Selling the farm there was dumb. No way that defends on their side. No way that defends on their side. Yeah, they're sending me ceramics. They're sending me all the ceramics. I'm going to balloon boost again in a second. When this balloon boost comes back. They're dead against air. They're dead against air. I won. I won. I won. Let's go! Ninja Elk Farm on top, bro. Dude, that was actually crazy. I'm not going to lie. I shouldn't have gone from a Monkey Wall Street there, guys. I I should have waited for round 25 to get my Monkey Wall Street and it wouldn't have gone for sold like that, but we still won. That was that was that was crazy. Make sure to subscribe and like, guys, if you enjoy this content. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the summer. So, if you guys want to help me out, please hit the subscribe button. Right, Mike out. Peace lads.